the food is on the table i am first going to chow down my favorite mushroom wine sauteed mushrooms with toast i'm waiting for mr anand also to join me and he might join me anytime soon we're going to have lunch together so before he comes can't stop the temptation i'm going to just dig into my mushrooms Amazing, tangy. Yeah, it's not come yet. It's tangy. It's amazing. Wine adds on to the taste. I got my Greek salad with feta. and this is the salad we made in the kitchen live made by puppy for us which is the mango avocado salad which i will be sharing with mr anand once he joins us back for lunch going back to my mushroom again loved it my all time favorite in broke is it's so nice the mushrooms are a little tangy the bread totally neutralizes it they are a perfect combination i'm going to go top it with the mushrooms You can find this only in rogue elephant. Amazing. What a refreshing drink with your meal. Do come and always have their cold tea with your meal. We have Mr. Anand who joined us for lunch. I'm so honored. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for visiting. <laughs> the rogue elephant. Yeah. So I've been visiting rogue elephants since ages time is same. Really? And and every time I come I'm really dazzled by your warm welcome and that broad smile on your face. I'm sure it's not just me, it's every guest who walks into the cafe. Mind if I eat while we talk? Yes, sir, please. So, we're just having a lunch on the camera, that's it. Super. <laughs> So so Mr Anand just uh, tell me how and where did it all start from like how did the love for food evolve until here Very if I tell you the truth that the, the the whole world will be up <laughs> Basically I got kicked out of school when I was 17 years old Are you <laughs> really so here are in Bangalore Yeah I was, you're I, was, I, was, I, was, I was in school in Kodaikanal at the time. Uh-huh. I had a slight disagreement with the authorities. Uh-huh. And the kick up might be a bit a bit harsh. <laughs> we parted our way, we parted ways. Came back to Bangalore. And uh, my parents got me an internship at the West End Hotel. Mhm. Uh-huh. This all happened in 1978. Okay. So did you have to do a F&B study before you get an internship into the Western Bank? I was very lucky. Aha. Uh-huh. Those days yes. there weren't such uh, particular and uh yeah they uh, they were very accommodating and they took me on. That's where I met my partner Sheila. Mhm. Sheila was also an intern also doing a a training program uh like an what they call it they didn't even have the word intern in those yeah days. yeah yeah so we were management trainees <laughs> mm-hmm. okay so Sheila was there and that's how we met mhm 
She was the first woman to work in the West End kitchen. First woman ever to work in the West kitchen of the West wow. End kitchen. Wow. So uh, that was quite a kudo uh, for I'm quite girl, curious girl to meet power. Sheila, yep. yes. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah. So 2004, 2005, we started our first outlet. Mm -hmm. The days, the, those days, there was no such word as startup. Yes. We were yes. Just, uh, yes. just another new, you know, fledgling, new, new. fledgling business. Yes. Yeah. There was no such word as cloud kitchen in those days. Yes. But we started as a cloud kitchen because we were only doing delivery and takeaway, mm -hmm. no dine in. Not a corporate catering, boardroom level, but, uh, you know, niche again. Yeah. Then slowly, we got the all opening came up in Ambara. Uh huh. They had a small garden cafe there, so we, the lady who was running that, left and they were looking for someone to take over, so we managed, we got it there. And uh, yeah, then we had another branch open in Koramangla. So at one point in time, we had four branches going the, the, the kitchen, the main kitchen, the Ammara kitchen, Koramangla kitchen, and this kitchen. And this one, yes. At one time. Mm -hmm. Now it's kind of. Mm -hmm. So, um, how how did the dishes? How did the menu roll out? I mean, did you have to do a lot of work behind to do that trial and errors and things like that? Nothing. I mean, I've been doing this for forty-five years, right? Yeah. So, the menu is a reflection of. Sheila's travels and my travels, where we've lived and worked. Ah. So if I give you a hummus, mm -hmm. it's the same hummus you're going to get in Beirut. Right? It's a very simple dish to make. Yes, very much. But most places get it wrong. Yes. I grew up in Nigeria. Most of all my friends were Lebanese. They've been eating this stuff yes. for a long time. <laughs> Thai curry, mm -hmm. no credit to us. The masala comes from Thailand, so it's like, so we didn't spend much time in the east. Ha, 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 ha. So you, you won't find too much of um, Asian, Asian yeah. Chinese, all that yes, stuff yes, here. Yes, yes, yes. Our, our travels are in India and west of India. West. The menu is India and it's pretty much of west that. of India. So, how many footballs do you see in a day? Average, I would say. If you, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, obviously the busiest days. So if you average it out, I say we probably serve about a hundred and hundred to hundred and fifty people a day throughout the day because we open at eleven thirty in the morning. Mm -hmm. So hundred, hundred to hundred and fifty, somewhere in between the average itself. How do you know what amount of crowd is gonna drop in? So we're How lucky. do you manage? Fifteen with... years, we've been here fifteen years, so now we know that we're steadily going to do about a hundred people every day. Mm -hmm. That because you know the food yeah, and so, so, so. I know you're very particular about not wasting you, food or not going to waste food. We don't have any walk-in cold room, you know, chill room. Yes. The basic domestic fridges, domestic stove. We shop every day for the day. Fresh. Fresh. And not in bulk. I'm tasting the lettuce, mango and avocado so mango, salad. Mango and avocado salad. Mango yes, and avocado mango salad. And avocado. With honey mustard rice. Yes, with honey mustard. Made by Papu. Made by Papu mm. and a unique creation of the rogue mm. <laughs> Amazing combo. Mm. How do you like the dressing? Mm? Amazing. We make it ourselves? It's yes. Our I just want to try all of them together, mm, but mm, 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 mm. I don't know. They're just not getting into the fork. So this is definitely going to be a big bite. I'm trying to catch this avocado, it's but it's just slipping off. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> the sweetness of mango. It comes together. We have to do the three together. The it's avocado, crunch uh, from the lettuce. The butteriness of yes, the avocado. The butteriness of the avocado is all around my mouth. Is it? Hmm? I just, I just don't even want to talk. It's a mouth melting <laughs> experience. So I got my 
pita and hummus hot fresh and hot <laughs> fresh and hot <laughs> no 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 okay i always i see people doing this and they say like no 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 so i did the pita the, no 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 the pita bread is yes. designed to bring the hummus to your mouth you have to do this and you have to dig into this like this and you get a goodly amount of hummus mm. on it amazing <laughs> it's just like how you eat your croissant with uh, tea or coffee yeah, yeah, and yeah, coffee yeah, and yeah, hot chocolate if you start doing all this yes 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 now you see okay there you just go just like mr anand thought there you go <laughs> <laughs> So I had to let go Mr Anand since he wanted to greet all his diners personally. I had a wonderful day spending some time knowing so much more about their journey. This is Reshma from Curious Appetite. Do like, share and subscribe.